is Christine and Joanne of the Ralston team and today we are making chicken with wild rice soup. So with the winter coming you start thinking about all the different soups that you've made and this was one of our favorite soups um, in the winter time to have. Yeah. And um, it's very easy to make doesn't take very much time. You can also cook it in the crock pot. So, um, mom, how, how do you make it? What is in it? I don't eat meat. However, um, when I did, I loved it. <laughs> so <laughs> I have a little bit of a different spin from it, but um, what do you put in it, mom? Yeah, so I start out with cream of mushroom soup and cream of chicken soup. Also half and half. Um, just kind of blend that all together. Um, you're gonna take some chicken broth and chicken. You can use a roasted chicken or you can go ahead and get some chicken breast and put it in the chicken broth soup. Cook it in there, make sure that you have it skim good, and then go ahead and add your cream of mushroom soup mixture into that. Um, you're gonna be adding carrots, celery, and onion, um, a little bit of rosemary, and just kind of blend all that together. Um, until it has um, softened the vegetables up. Once that is done, then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna use wild rice. Um, put about two boxes of that in it and um, let it cook and just let it simmer. Salt and pepper it to your taste and that's all you have to do. Very easy. It is very easy. <laughs> <laughs> so my version of it would be obviously to replace some of the the chicken and some of that, maybe add some a little a little bit more vegetables, um, probably add a little bit of thyme for some different seasonings and um, cook it the same way. So would you um, use the vegetable um, soup instead of the chicken soup? Cor uh, correctly, some vegetable broth and yeah. um, maybe some cream of mushroom soup to make it creamy with the half and half and stuff like that. So um, yeah, I mean, I think feel like soups are like always so easy to make like on a Sunday or um, you know before the week starts so that you have it in the refrigerator and um, you can also freeze them too so I know that my sister always puts them in like a little ziploc bag she straightens it and she lays them flat in the freezer which is great because then you can just take them out um, anytime that you want them and um, you know serve a bowl of soup and you can make a salad or um, you know a sandwich or whatever you plan on having or just have it with this I know when we were growing up, my mom would always have like, with her soup, she would have saltine crackers, with put a little up. spread of butter, <laughs> and then maybe like a little jam. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, this is a great soup. So mom, why don't you taste? And okay. Kevin, our producer for the day, why don't you come over and you can have a little taste of my soup. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. Well, you can see the steam, is it hot? <laughs> Man, that's good. Good. That is delicious. <laughs> Thank you. Fabulous job. Good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> So thank you guys so much for joining us again for one of our quick cooking segments. And, um, you know, please feel free to let us know what your favorite soup recipe is. We'd love to try some new ones. We're always looking for quick, easy recipes. Comment below and thank you very much. 